Hello everybody and welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Julie and in today's clip, as you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail, I'm gonna review and test out today with you another Huda Beauty palette. This time is the Pastel Rose. It's a mini palette and this only retailed for 10 pounds. It's actually retailing for 27. It was an offer on Boots. I don't know what's going on with Boots, but they have some crazy offers over there, you know, and uh, I didn't tell you, all right? Basically, I could not resist myself. I already tested out her gold palette and I really loved that one. I adored it and I was like, I'm not gonna miss out to test out a 10 pound worth. Like, it's, it's 27 pounds worth it and I paid only 10. So I couldn't miss that out. I actually wished for the mint one, but it was out of stock. So I got the rose instead. They also had the purple one, but I'm not quite sure. Like, I don't know when these offers are on, they, they go fast. So maybe check out, maybe they're going to restock. Sometimes they do that. So when it goes out of stock, they still restock it on offer. So who knows? But yeah, I'm going to test out this guy with you and see how it's going to perform onto my eyes. So this is how the packaging looks like. It's actually really nice. And I also had a glimpse of what's inside. And seriously, these are some beautiful shadows. All right, I must say that. It's something different that I don't have into my collection. And I think it's very beautiful. And let me tell you, very, very soon, I'm gonna have a giveaway including one of these guys in it. So if you wanna stick around to my Instagram, definitely do because i bought one for you as well because it was it was too too of a good offer i want to share it with you okay so i bought another one for a giveaway i did not post it yet but it's gonna come your way very very soon right let's move on to actually prime my eyes so i'm just gonna quickly blend it out so i'm gonna take a fluffier brush and i think i'm just gonna go with this shade which is uh the dark darkest and oh i forgot to ah, the best part so i'm taking like i said this shade and i'm just gonna put it into my crease so it blended like a dream i mean for 27 pounds what is original like price i was expecting to blend this nicely it's very nice like it's also a beautiful shade and it's uh kind of like resembling the shade in the pan which we love like it means it's pigmented all right so we love it it's pigmented right so i'm gonna go with more fun shades so i'm gonna take the purple and i think i'm just gonna go with the same brush or let's not sabotage the color all right so i'm just gonna not be lazy it's gonna be a pain to wash all the brushes I have, so that's why I'm like sometimes trying to use less, but it can it, it can change the shade, so I'm gonna be like, ugh. Yeah, move on. <laughs> so let's apply it just over the lid, really. It's definitely pastel. Um I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely more on the pastel side, which we love, because obviously this is the pastels rose palette so that's kind of the theme and it's not patchy i always hear that pastels are very patchy this doesn't seem like so at least this shade uh it seems very easily blendable with this guy wow they actually did blend very beautiful okay i'm shocked so i want to get the yellow as well and i think i'm gonna put it in my inner corner that sounds fun so let's do it oh wow i never seen a yellow this pigmented ever and i have some in my collection and i thought those ones are pigmented uh yeah nope this is the most pigmented yellow I own at this very moment. Wow! Do you see how brightening it, it does my eyes? Like, that's crazy. We love the yellow. I adore the yellow. Just buy this palette only for the yellow, I swear. I mean it. That yellow is gorgeous. Love it. Love it. I do. Wow. I'm still very shocked. It's 
so pigmented. Right, so this time I'm actually taking the same brush and I'm going into this matte. Don't worry, we are trying the shimmers as well. Like that's the best part. At least that's what I felt from the gold palette. This is a bit crumbly, but it's all right. I don't mind. This shows up, but very hard because it's definitely much lighter, but it does show up as you can see. Like, you see it there, you definitely see it there. That's very nice. This, the, these mattes are pigmented, very beautiful pastel shades, and they blend nice with each other. I always hear people when it comes to pastels that they blend very hardly together. But that seems like I'm doing a good job with them. <laughs> now let's go into the fun part, shimmers. So seriously, I think I can, I can get away with using all of them, all right? So I think I'm gonna go into this shade, which is like a rosy, purpley moment. Oh my god, it looks already good in the brush. Like, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh! God damn it, I want, I want now the mint one and it's out of stock. <laughs> Literally, Huda's shimmers are out of this world. Out of this freaking world. I don't understand how can they be so mesmerizing so blinding and i also apply it with a brush not with a finger um which i personally prefer wow i mean let's try the finger just for the sake of this video the hell is that wow no this is it looks like it's photoshop but i swear to god it's not I see the hype, I still see the hype today. Gorgeous. I'm losing my mind. Like I truly am, the, the shimmers are the shit. Like the gold palette did not disappoint, I feel this is not disappoint as well. So let's go with the yellow in the inner corner. It sounds like a good you know, idea since I already have yellow in there and I'm just gonna take this tiny brush and apply it. I need to stop, but I can't because I'm shocked about her formula. Oh my God. They are so fine, so glittery and sparkly and fine. That's what I'm shocked about. They don't feel greedy. They don't, they literally feel like so smooth and they pick up this much shimmer and lighting like is that a spot yeah it's a spot what the hell oh i put some glitter on top that see that's why i don't like uh using my fingers because i already put glitter by mistake there but oh my god i could bathe in this so i shouldn't mind putting some glitter there because literally this is so beautiful <sighs> okay i'm gonna go with this shade in the inner part here and, and I, am, I, am, I, am I gonna be like, oh, again? Probably, probably. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, gorgeous, sparkly, beautiful. But I feel these others two are more sparkly than this guy. However, we like a subtle bit of moment. Uh, it's still picking up the liking very, very nicely, but it's more chilled down than the, the rest of them too. But it's still beautiful. Yeah. And since the middle one is the last shade, I'm still gonna use it. I think I'm gonna put it on top of the middle one and pray it's gonna show up, but I don't know what's gonna come out of it because seriously, it's kind of like a marble sort of shade. There's one way to find out. Oh wow, it's a more of a rose gold sort of shade. 
That actually looks a bit similar to this shade. Let me swatch it. Oh no, it has a more gold reflect reflex to it. But probably because I have the purple underneath, it picks up like this shade. Because this has also kind of like gold shift. But it's more on the pink side, while the middle one is more on the golden side. Which is kind of like confusing because this will look much more on the purple side, while this one looks... Uh, on the gold side, sorry. And this one looks much more on the kind of like purple side. It, it seems like it has more purple than gold. I don't know if that's in my head. But this is more of a like... Not purple, but rosy. Like exactly what the name of it. Rose. This is truly a rose shade. Right, so I'm gonna go put some lashes, I think. Or maybe just mascara. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put some mascara. And uh, don't add an eyeliner so I can make them pop. And I'll be right back with my final thoughts. So I put uh, some mascara on. And I actually forgot to do the swatches so i'm actually gonna do them on this camera this time i usually do them on my phone camera but i'm rushing because i also need to discuss other products videos are coming your way basically so i'm gonna start off with the first row and i mean you know the drill These glitters, like shimmers, are just outstanding. Outstanding. It's actually a bit duochromatic. It it gets green. I don't know if you can properly see it, but that's actually really nice. It also has some blue reflexes to it. Sick. Probably it doesn't pick them up because I put it already on on top of the yellow. But that's actually really nice. When it comes to the swatches, I did notice this with the gold palette as well, that the shimmers don't necessarily pick up as much punch as they do when you apply them onto the eyes. I feel they are more mesmerizing onto the eyes, which is quite crazy because generally speaking, the swatches are much better and the outcome on the eyes is not necessarily that great with certain palettes but with the gold palette and this pastel rose shade a uh, rose shade rose palette it seems the same drill which i'm not mad i don't care how they look onto my hand i care how they look onto my eyes and seriously this palette is as outstanding as the gold palette i i went crazy over that palette and i still use it to this date very often whenever i'm in a rush and i want something simplistic but with a punch of shimmer i always go for that but now i have this rose pastels with a beauty shade when i need my kind of like shimmer colorful fix and this is stunning the shimmers are outstanding and different than the gold palette i actually appreciate the mattes very very much with the mattes and the gold, I was like, they're a bit basic, they're browns, you know, maroons, kind of that drill. But these are pastels, and I always hear people complaining about pastels, like not blending out together, being patchy. This did not do that at all, which it kind of says a plus to me, and I feel it works nicer on that way, money-wise, than the gold, because the mattes did not impress me that much in that one. But yeah, do I recommend this Huda Beauty palette, especially on offer? But yes, it's gorgeous. Like I said, if I'm finding the mint one, I'm buying that one too. The purple did not necessarily catch my eye personally, but the mint one, I feel it's much more stunning looking wise like this one. And if the formula is the same, which I bet it is. <sighs> yes, please. Give it to me, Boots. 
bring it back in stock thank you so without further ado i really hope this video was by any means useful and relevant to you and you find it helpful let me know if you catch it on the offer or if you're deciding to just buy it uh full price i still think full price is worth it as well but obviously who doesn't love a good reduction if you say no then you're just weird but it's still, I still think it's worth 27 pounds. It's a very nice formula when it comes to shimmers. And like I said, different than gold one, I, I see the money into the pastels as well, comparing to what people do speak about pastels in general. So yeah, check out my next clip if you already love makeup or maybe check the gold palette. That is an exclusive to Cold Beauty and I, I'm pretty sure they still have it. And that one is gorgeous as well. So check out the video on that or maybe the next video or the new clips I'm, I'm bringing you because I have loads to upload. So yeah, I'll hopefully see you within the next one. Bye!